Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.36 from the chapter number 3. The problem is draw a logic diagram of the digital circuit specified by, by the following Verilog description. Okay, we are given with three very log gate level description codes. Okay, and from that we have to draw the digital circuit. So first very log gate level description code is this one. Okay, so these are the given ports A, B, C, D, F. Okay, and from these, these are the inputs A, B, C and D. Okay, and output is F. This last one is the output. We have made the declaration of the input and the output ports. Then wires are W, X, Y, Z, small a and small d. Then these are the functions or these are the operations given. We have to see which operation we have to perform. So to know that we have to look at this operation. So first operation is n. So if we see we have to do the n operation between b, c and small d but d small d is not an input. So first of all we have to find out the small d. So for finding out small d first we have to see this one is the not operation and here we have got the complement of capital D that is the input D we have in complemented it and it is stored in small d okay so we have to first of all we have to find this similarly from this operation we can see that this small a is an input so we have to first find out the small a so here also we can see that we have to find out why doing the n operation between small a and capital C. Okay, capital C is one input, so we have already capital C. But before doing this operation, we have to find out small a. So at the first step, we have to find out the small a and small d. Then we have to go for this step. So at the second step, we have to find out this x and y. Okay, in the third step, what we'll do? In the third step, we'll find out small z. Small z is the or operation between y and capital A. Okay, we have already found out this y. We have already A as input. This A is the input here. We will get here z equal to y or A. That means the or operation between small y and capital A will be stored. The value output value will be stored in small z. Okay, then in the step 4, we have to find out small w. Okay, in the small w, we have already go obtained small z here okay and b is the input so w will store the n operation value between small z and capital b and in the step 5 similarly we will find out the or operation between small x and small w and we will store this value in capital f so first of all we will draw the input lines what are the inputs we have four inputs a b c and d a b c and d these are the inputs these are the input lines i have drawn here now in the step one what we have to do we have to find out small a taking the complement of capital a so from here you take a line use an inverter okay and here we'll get small a okay and small d the is the complement of capital d so d is this one Okay, I am using here an inverter. Okay, here we will get small d. This first step is complete. So in the second step, what we have to find? We have to find the n operation. We have to find x, y using the n operation between this in, in these inputs. So for x, we have to do the n operation between capital B, capital C, and small d. So we'll draw a line from capital B and another line from capital C okay and if a small d is already there so we'll put here a n get so here we'll get small x then we have to find out y y is the n operation between small a and capital c okay small a we have already here and capital c is from this one so do the n operation that means you say n get and here we'll get y Okay, so we have got now x and y, small x and small y. Now let us go to our third step. In the third step, we have to do the or operation between small y and capital A. And the value will be stored in z. So small y and capital A. Small y is this one and capital A is this one. Small y, capital A. These are the two inputs of an or get. Okay, so here we will get 
small z small z is the or operation with the small y and capital a so here we can see that so this small z is the or operation between small y and capital a okay small y and capital a so here we'll get z small z okay so we have got the small z then in the step four what we have to find we have to find w using the n operation between z small z and b here we will use a n get because we have n operation and we have to draw a line from b okay so one input is small z and one input is capital b okay so here we'll get step 4 here we'll get w so we have got small w then in the step 5 what we have to find we have to find capital f doing the or operation between small x and w this is the small x and this is the w so we have to do a or operation here okay and here we'll get capital f so this is the logic diagram or this is the circuit diagram of the given code of part a okay now let us go to our second part in the second part of the problem similarly we have give, we are given with this code okay this is the very low gate level description so first of all what we will do we will draw the input lines similar to the previous cases we will draw the input lines first so a0 a1 b0 b1 okay so these are the input lines So I have look I have observed this code and first in the first step we have to find out this four this four function we have to do first so not operation on a a1 so w6 will contain the inverted value of a1 so take a line from a1 use an inverter and here we'll get w6 and the second line we have to use another inverter on a0 so use here an inverter and here we'll get W7. W7. Okay, so we have got W6 and W7. Then we have to do the XNOR operation between A1 and B1 and store the value in W4. So XNOR operation between A1 and B1. A1, B1. So XNOR operation. This is XNOR gate. Okay, so here we'll get W4. W. Four. Similarly, W5 we have to find out using XNOR operation between A0 and B0. A0 and B0. So use here a XNOR get and here we we'll get W5. So we have got W6, W7, W4 and W5. In the second step, we have to find out this A equal B W1, W2 and W3. So in the first step, we we'll let us find out this A eqb okay a eqb is the n operation between w4 and w5 okay so you see here a n get this is a w4 this is w5 these are the two inputs and the outputs will be stored in a eqb a underscore e q b then let us find out this w1 w1 is the n operation between w6 and b1 w6 this one and b1 b1 is this one so an operation here okay so here we'll get w6 and b1 so here we'll get w1 w1 then we have w2 is the an operation between w6 w7 and b0 w6 is this one so take a line from here w7 and b0 so take a line from B0 and put a N get because it is a N operation. Okay. So here we we'll get W2. So we have got W1 and W2 and we have to find out W3. W3 is the N operation between W7, B0 and B1. Okay. So this is the W7. Okay. So we'll take a line from here. W7, B0 and B1. So another take another two lines B0 and B1. So you say and get here. 
so here we'll get w3 observe this carefully so we have found w1 w2 w3 a eq b okay that, that means step 2 is complete now in the step 3 we have to find out a ltb by doing the or operation between w1 w2 and w3 that means we have to use the or get here so what are the inputs a ltb what are the input w1 w2 w3 okay these are the three inputs w2 and w3 so here we'll get a ltb a underscore l t capital b okay we have got this a ltb then in the step four we have to find out a gtb a gtb is the nor operation between a ltb and a eqb this is one output do we have to do the nor operation between a ltb and a eqb nor operation so draw a nor gate here so one line from here or a ltb and a eqb another line from here and we'll get here a gtb a underscore g t capital b okay so we have got this a ltb a eqb here a underscore eqb because this is a eqb and this is the a ltb this is the a gtb so these are the three output values so this is the logic circuit of the uh, second very log get level description so this is the get level description code okay and from that we have drawn this logic circuit in the third part of the problem we have this uh, very log get level description so from here we can see that output is y1 and another output is y2 so inputs are a comma b so inputs are a comma b so draw two lines a and b this is a line and this is b okay sorry sorry sorry, sorry. input are small a and small b this is small a and this is small b small a and small b small a small b okay then we have to find out output y1 and output y2 so output y1 is the n operation between small a and small b okay so take a line from here take another line and do a n operation and here we will get y1 similarly y2 is the or operation between a and b so take a line from here another line from here do a or operation okay here you will get y2 okay this is the logic circuit of the third part very log get level description code so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you